Hey guys, it's Brody from Mountain Archery. Uh, exciting news, 2024 Bowtech. Eva Shockey Gen 3, brand new women's bow. So completely new this year. Uh, they really changed it up from the previous model, uh, the Eva Shockey Gen 2. So this one is quite a bit smaller, a little lighter, a little more compact. Um, I really think that this is the best women's bow in the industry. So 28 inches axle to axle and Bowtech usually hits it right on the mark. It is exactly 28 as compared to 30 inches from the Gen 2 Eva Shockey from last year. So also an aluminum riser bow, um, totally different riser though. And then this year they also have some of the cool new features such as grip lock. They brought that over to some of their hunting bows this year. Um, it was on some of their target bows last year, but adjustable angle of your grip just by an Allen wrench. Also, Coming back another year, deadlock cams, a staple, easily the most tunable bow in the industry. No bow press required, just an Allen wrench. Um, along with that, time lock. So being able to time your bow with just an Allen wrench also without a bow press. Um, like I said, this is the best women's bow in the industry. A uh, little more compact this year, a little lighter weight. So how much lighter weight is it? Um, we've got a QAD rest on this new one, but mass weight right now as it sits, 4.3 pounds exactly. Um, this Eva Shockey Gen 2, no rest, but 4.4 pounds. So with a rest on the Eva Shockey Gen 3, a bit lighter, a little more compact, 28 inch axe axle as compared to 30 previous model. Uh, this one also, a little bit different cam. You have the adjustability range of a 24 inch draw up to a 29 inch draw as compared to the last model having a half inch difference. You were able to go down to a 23 and a half and up to a 28 and a half on the Gen 2. So a little bit different there. And then also brace heights are different. So on the new one, you are six and an eighth inch brace height. The previous model was right at seven, which honestly, I don't think you should be too concerned about a shorter brace height. If anything, it's gonna give uh, you a little more speed. And honestly, I think ladies uh, bows could use that. So uh, definitely don't be afraid of a touch shorter brace height because it's only gonna be uh, advantageous to you. But Check out this new color. They're calling it forest. It is like a minty green. They killed it. Ladies, you're gonna love this. I dig it. I think this will no doubt be our most popular color in it and our most popular women's bow for this year. So as far as speed wise, Gen 2 is 323 feet per second, IBO speed rating. The new one is 326. Doesn't seem too significant, but I honestly think you will see significant gains if you upgrade from a previous model, EVA, to the new Gen 3. That brace height is going to give you a little bit more speed and that rotating mod, a uh, little more draw length, so you should see a little more efficiency towards those upper draw lengths. But overall, Bowtech did awesome on this. Like I said, no doubt the best women's bow in the industry, super adjustable easily tunable. I don't think it gets much better than this. So Eva Shockey Gen 3 from Bowtech 2024. Guys, we have these at Mountain Archery. Come give them a try. You won't regret it. All right, Eva Shockey Gen 3. We're gonna do a real world speed test and we wanna compare it head to head with previous model Eva Shockey Gen 2 um, because this one, is a little bit shorter brace height, a little bit draw length spec difference, so we should get a little more speed out of this one. So we've got a 405 grain arrow we're gonna shoot, a 27 inch draw, and it is at 52 pounds. We're just gonna verify that. So 52.1. Perfect. So 
52.1, let's give it a shot. Like I said, 405 grain arrow. Um, we're just gonna do a real world speed test. So, 236 feet per second. All right, so 236 with the Iwashaki Gen 3. So we have the Iwashaki Gen 2 with the exact same setup, 27 inch draw, same exact arrow, 405 grains. And let's just double check the weight just to verify that they are at the same weight. So 52.2. Point two. So let's see what this one is. Now, this almost has a full inch longer brace height. So same exact draw length, same exact arrow. Two thirty-four. So about two feet per second difference, which literally on there, uh, what they advertise. I want to say it's about a three per feet per second difference. So it's about on par with what they're advertising. So we are going to swap these into the performance setting now because both of these were on comfort and we're going to try it again and see what kind of gains you get in performance with these. All right. So if you weren't aware before, all Bowtex have switch disc technology um, or flip disc technology. So you have a side that's comfort setting, so it's gonna make it a smoother drop cycle, and then you have a performance side. So if you flip the module that changes your draw length over, we initially did our speed test in the comfort setting, which they all come in from the factory. Now we swapped them into the performance setting, still 27 inch draw, still 52 pounds, same exact 405 grain arrow. And we're just gonna see what kind of speed gains you get going to performance. Definitely noticeable in the draw cycle how much more aggressive it is. So 245 feet per second, that's a pretty significant jump. That's like nine feet per second. I wanna say it was 236. So nine feet per second just by flipping the, the disc, which is pretty awesome. And let's do the gen two. All right, gen two Iwashaki. We also flipped the flip disc over to performance. Um, same exact specs. We're gonna see what kind of gains we see with this. It was 234 second on the performance set, or the comfort setting. This is performance. So significantly more aggressive draw. 241. So about seven feet per second. Not as big of a jump as the Gen 3, but still a pretty significant gain with just flipping your disc over. Pretty awesome technology from Bowtech and just another option. So thanks guys.